Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. It is now Saturday, Saturday the 14th of September, um, which I know is a little unorthodox to start a weekly vlog two days technically before the next one begins, but I have good reason. So on Monday I did start vlogging. I went to Colchester to see Debs so that I could see her new place. She gave me a grand tour, it was very nice. We had a bit of lunch as well and I saw the boys, she's got two dogs. Um, and then for the rest of the week I've just been filming a lot because we have to make sure that when we go to Canada you guys have still got our content to watch. Now, after last week's vlog I looked at the comments and of course I asked you guys whether you wanted to see a wardrobe switch over and it was a resounding yes. So I've decided not to put in any of the extra vlog footage and just do this entire vlog dedicated to the grand switch over. I'm ready and raring, I'm actually not ready and raring, I'm a little bit tired because I didn't sleep very well last night, but I do feel motivated and inspired to get this done today. So I've already started doing a little bit of prep in the room. I've got my tripod here so that you guys can watch the whole process. I've also brought a rail from the studio just that I've got an extra area and I'm going to give you a little tour in a minute just to show you the kind of before of my wardrobes. So let's do this. So I have two wardrobes here for those of you who are new. I have one half here in which I have my handbags, my denim and trousers, more handbags, 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 and then sunglasses here on the door. In the second, okay, so wardrobe number two is a state. I mean, can we just look at that? I have a habit of doing this as I edge closer to doing a wardrobe switch over because what I've started doing is it's been warm because we're in September, but there's also been the odd random day where you definitely needed a jacket and a jumper. So I've already been diving into my storage tubs, which you guys are gonna see in a minute. And as you can see, I've got like jumpers in here. I've got all my blazers in there. And it's just been, well, chaos for want of a better word. Now in the spare bedroom, again, this is more just needs reorganizing. I have, and there's Simon's suitcase for Canada. I have stuff hung in here and it's in this wardrobe in here, which I'm not gonna show you guys straight away just because there's all stuff in the way. But that is where my coats go. But at the moment I've got coats and dresses in there. So we need to sort that out. So the first thing I'm gonna do, which is slightly different to what I have done before. Normally I would get everything out of my wardrobe and lay it out, but I need to go and get my storage tubs, which are basically dotted all around the house. They're in the basement, in the spare room, they're in the cupboard sections above my wardrobes. Um, and I need to bring those up in here and then I just need to get anything that's kind of hung on doors. I'm gonna pop on this rail to the side just so that we've got some form of organization and I know where certain things are. Right, storage tubs are in. So we've got four massive ones there, two big ones there. Now my next plan is, I'm gonna to speak to you guys over there. Hello. Uh, my next plan is that I'm gonna open up the wardrobes and I'm gonna to start to take things out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to fold them, like the summer pieces, like vests and summery tops, as I go along so that I'm freeing up the hangers. looking after that stage so the bottom half has had quite a little cleanse the top half I've kind of just been hanging stuff which was shoved in that middle section as well so in a minute I am going to take all this out but I've just wanted to get the things which are autumn winter on hangers um, but these are the tops that I've got left that will stay in my wardrobe so as you can see the majority from about here to here which are all in colour order they are my t-shirts which I keep out all year round just because they go under knitwear and yeah now if I turn our attention to the bed my pile system 
or my folding system kind of went to part. So I started folding this tiny little area here and then it ended up just being a massive pile on there, which is great. So that is kind of a pile which I need to go through. These are all spring summer things which are gonna go into storage tubs. I've got jeans here, which I definitely need to do a cull of jeans because I've got way too many, it's, it's an actual addiction. And then I've got loungewear here, which I am, when we get back from Canada, gonna change the furniture in here because this mirrored stuff is just horrendous to keep clean, especially with five dogs. It's just covered in dust on a daily basis. So I'm actually gonna get a taller chest of drawers so that I can put my loungewear in an extra drawer in there as well. Right, for the next step, what I'm actually gonna do is take everything out this wardrobe now and along the bottom in particular needs a hoover. I just think it's really important that you actually clean the inside of your wardrobes as well, at least once a season, because there's so many fibers in there, so much dust and stuff can get in. It's just nice to start a new season be fresh and Now I've put everything back in and it's nice and clean in there and hoovered. I've decided to keep blazers spaced out along the top and the knitwear on the bottom. I say this every time I do this for autumn, winter. Knitwear ideally should be folded. I personally don't like knitwear folded because I can't see what I have. And also I don't have the space to have it folded. Uh, lots of you guys suggested those hanging shelf things, but I, I just don't like them. The, no, <laughs> basically no. So now that I have done this one, and that is just the items that I've got already, I haven't even ventured into the storage tubs yet. What I'm gonna do is actually go yonder into the spare bedroom and do my coats wardrobe first because that has dresses in and I wanna get all of my spring summer stuff on here. Now that I've got all the stuff that I kind of already had out in place, I'm gonna go through the tubs, try some bits on and kind of just sort those into what I want to put back into my autumn winter wardrobe. What items are summer, which I do still have some summer items in those tubs, which I clearly need to address and say, do I still want to keep these? And then create some tubs which are gonna go, there'll be some that goes to charity and some that go up for sale. As I've just been going through this process, there's gonna be quite a few coats going up for sale so they're all going to be on my depop so that information will be down below in the description box but i'm not going to be able to list list to list anything on depop until we get back from canada because we just have no time come to help to do girls things. You're doing girls things? Yeah, you help mummy organising? Hello. Yeah, it's nice to have a bit of company. Hi. Oh, you like to licky licky. Good boy. Come on then, help me. Help me. Right, it is now 20 past 11. I have been going at this for some hours and look at the state of this. That massive pile from here has gone though. And now there's just a pile down here and all my storage tubs are full. So yeah, there's still a little bit of organisation that needs to be done in terms of these things on the bed. But I now feel it's time to move on to the denim and the handbag area. <laughs> this is my least favourite job because as I said earlier, I need to cull some of my denim because look at this. This is full. And I mean, I know I've got stuff like chinos that can come out and go into hopefully a storage tub if I can squish it all down. But I have a massive pile of denim on the bed that needs to go in. So I am 
definitely going to have to cull some jeans and I hate that so much because I love denim like I get so much wear out of my denim but there's just there's just no room where I'm over it <laughs> and I think I know why because at this stage I've pretty much got everything back into the wardrobes but now I'm just surrounded by mess of everything else that needs to be organised and everything else that I'm not basically going to require for the next few months. I wish it would just organise itself and disappear from my sight because then I would be finished. But I'm not. It's actually this, the organising of like the actual stuff that I'm keeping in the wardrobes that doesn't really take that long. So I've just finished this one. I've done my bags, put my jewellery in here in all those um, stackable tray things. Then I was thinking this door here, which I'm going to try and zoom into shot. You guys will have already seen that I have my um, sunglasses on here on racks and because I've moved the jewellery from up there now to, into those uh, stackable things I don't know if maybe I might want to have a full length mirror stuck on this door because I don't actually have a full length mirror in the bedroom and that might just be a bit easier for when I'm getting dressed because I normally run downstairs into the lounge where we've got two full mirrors. And I just think if I got a thin one on here, that could be an option. So I'm gonna have a little break. I'm gonna have a lunch break. And then I am gonna start to uh, tackle this region. With a slight or a potential slight change of plan, we might be having lunch with Simon's sister in a bit he's just texted her to find out so in the interim until we find out i am going to make a start on my shoe area which actually doesn't look so bad as it is i just need to tweak a few things What's the time? It is half four. Half four. I think actually I've done really well for time today. Today has been one of my better wardrobe switchover days in terms of the length of time it's taken me because we actually went out for lunch earlier so we were gone for about an hour and a half. So I think I've done very well, I'm quite proud of myself. Now before I give you the grand retour of what I've done, I wanted to share, very randomly, two tips with you guys. Tip number one, this is a debobbleizer. If you don't have one, buy one, because they're amazing, they're so good. If you wear knitwear, cashmere in particular, this, will be a little lifesaver. Well, actually, it will be a cashmere saver for you. Tip number two, and this was something that I really wanted to mention before I started doing my wardrobe switchover. This is something that I kind of do all year round, but if you are perhaps, I don't know, maybe changing up your style, you're recurating your wardrobe, you have rediscovered your style, you want to have a little bit of a transformation, whatever it may be, and you kind of feel like you don't really know where to start in terms of reorganising your wardrobe, my tip would be to, before you even start, 
go on Pinterest, make yourself a board, you can make it private if you don't want to share it with everyone, make yourself a board of the sort of style and the sort of outfits that you want to wear because that will be your guide on what you keep and what you don't keep and what you then potentially need and what you need to build on. Anyway, now that we've got those two little nuggets of gold information out directly to you guys, I'm gonna give you the tour. Right, now I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but this is just looking impressive. I mean, look at that. Come on. Right, let's dive into wardrobe number one, shall we? So we've got bags, which are kind of in a similar order to what they were before along the top. Bags down the side. This is where I decided to put my jewellery trays because I feel like that's the perfect height of shelf. Bags, 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 and then larger bags along the bottom. This tub down here is where I keep the debobilizer and other such things. So I have shoe stretchers in there, I've got suede and leather protector, lint brushes, all that kind of stuff. Everything lives in there it's like the wardrobe maintenance kit and then of course my denim and trousers which have been culled and refined and i've even got some spare hangers in there as well because i've got some bits and bobs in the wash and i've also moved my reusable shopping bags to in here as well because it makes sense that they live where my handbags live so there we go that is side number one Let's move on to side number two. Okay, so I've kept the top very much the same with blazers running all the way along here. I mean, you can see that I love a neutral blazer, can't you? And then I've had to, because I'm gonna show you my coat wardrobe in a minute, there's not enough room. So I've had to put short coats or whatever jackets, whatever we're gonna call them on the end there, but it's not a problem. It's something I can live with. Then along the bottom on my beautiful bendy rail, which yes, I have spun numerous times, but honestly guys, it just doesn't even bother me anymore. Got t-shirts over yonder which then merge into all my knits. Now on the side here, I've kept out a couple of skirts, well actually four skirts to be precise. So in all fairness, this is a bit of an autumn skirt. It is suede, so that will probably stay out anyway. But I've also got this one from Cezanne and then a couple of denim ones here as well. So if we randomly do have some hot weather, I'm okay, I've got some skirts. And then on this side, this is actually a cardigan. It was by Vince. Yeah, by Vince. And I got this when we went to New York for New Year a few years ago. I bought it from Saks Fifth Avenue. And basically, I kind of use this like a very posh and expensive bathrobe. It's just the coziest cardigan ever. And I bought it in the biggest, most humongous size. And it's so snugly. So I've popped it on there because when I get up first thing in the morning, I like to just throw that on. And moving on to the shoes. So we've got just a few courts left, followed by a plethora of loafers and then another plethora of trainers and then a rather ginormous collection of ankle boots, the majority of which, have you ever seen so many black ankle boots in your life? And then out here, this is my overflow, which is my shoe cabinet. So I've got these two <coughs> pairs of shoes here, which actually I need to get the shoe boxes out because the shoe boxes live up there in the loft. In here, this is basically the converse drawer. So I have lots of converse in there, which I've actually just freshly cleaned some of those. So they are looking sparkly. And then my marathon trainers and some Nikes. And then up in here, oh, it's completely empty. So if by some random miracle, not a very random miracle at all, if by some very high probability, I acquire more shoes, then I have at least, I think seven or eight spaces that I can fill in there. Now we're gonna make our way to my coat wardrobe, which is in the spare room, which by the way, I share with Simon. So in here we have the same, I'm gonna try and step back so you guys can see. We have the same wardrobe set up. So we have these up here, which we use for storage. And then this wardrobe is Simon's. And then half of this wardrobe is also Simon's. And then half, well, okay. This is Simon's from here. Mine has kind of started to encroach on his side, but these are my coats. 
So this is the plethora of coats that we've currently got happening here. And I have actually kept two dresses out, literally just two. One by Realization Par, which is a little mini dress, and then this dress, which you guys might remember, which I wore to the Munich wedding. Just thought, just in case, I need something fancy, then that's what we've got. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we've been really productive and painted the doors. Not. So that's it, folks. Another wardrobe cleanse and reorganizational session, switchover, whatever you want to call it, completed quite chuffed with myself today. Um, now I have a feeling this question may potentially come up because it comes up every time I do one of these uh, wardrobe switchovers. If anyone's gonna ask me if they've seen something that they think might have gone in a pile of something which I am letting go of and it's either going to charity or being sold or whatever, I cannot reserve items because there are many, many of you and only one of me, so it's just not possible for me to reserve items. So the only thing I will say is if you've seen something, follow my Depop, that's the only place I sell, I can't be bothered to sell on eBay. Um, so just follow me on Depop, and if it is indeed for sale, it will be up for sale at some point. Right, now that I'm done, I feel like, yeah, I feel like I need to go and have a shower because I smell a bit funky because I didn't actually open the windows in this bedroom today because I was filming so much and I didn't want the sound to go dodgy. So I now smell because of you guys, you in there, yeah. So thank you very much for watching another one of my switchovers. If you've got any questions about anything at all, leave them down in the comment section below and anything I can link that will be useful to you guys, it will be in the description box as usual. Now, when you guys are watching this, we'll already be in Canada, so make sure, we're on day one, folks, of our little adventure, make sure you head over to my gram, and potentially Simon's gram, although I don't think he's ever posted an Insta story in his life. Maybe we'll get that up and up and rolling, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so make sure you head over to my gram at least so that you can see what we're up to. And then I will catch you guys in the next video, which is Sunday. And I've forgotten what that is. I think it, I think, oh, I think it might be a warehouse brand review. Yeah, so I'll see you then. Bye.